It's B-U-L-O-V-A, Bulova Watch Time. America runs on Bulova Time. And now Bulova, on behalf of its 15,000 distributors, presents The Frank Sinatra Show. Our stars tonight are Dagmar, Tim Herbert and Don Saxon, and Eileen Barton. You'll see Joe Bushkin and June Hutton. Music by Axel Stardall. All starring Frank Sinatra. How do you do? Well, look who's here. Yes, sir, it's your full of a Saturday night watchman. I just checked all the doors and the windows, and they're all locked, so there's no use. You can't get out. You just have to sit there and take it. All right, Axe, let's give it to him. <laughs> when you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. But when you're crying, you bring on the rain, so stop your sighing. Be happy again, keep on smiling, cause when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun I'm shining through But when you're crying You bring on the rain So stop that sign Get happy again Keep on smiling Cause when you're smiling The whole world Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and you'll excuse me if I'm a little out of breath. You see, we're working at the New York Paramount Theater, and getting from the theater to the studio is, well, it's a little difficult to leave you a little windows. As a matter of fact, tonight was the first time I got a police escort. He gave me two motorcycles, and I had to run in between them. Wow. Oh. Are you mad at me? See, you know, the last time I played the Paramount Theater, I'll never forget it, it was in 1943, and it was Hello, a... Hello, Frank. Oh, what? Oh, how do you do? Well, it's June Hutton. <laughs> Mrs. Stardall. Hey, Frank. Yes? How are things going at the Paramount? Oh, just wonderful. And I was just saying that the last time I played there, it was, it was simple. All I had to do was sing, you know? Now, in the intermissions, I have to go out in the aisles and sell popcorn. <laughs> Terrible. And without bags, too. I just pour it in the customer's <laughs> shoes. Just go around when you see the shoes you bought up. That's silly, you know what I mean. Uh, what's new with you, June? Well, uh, how shall about we sue, uh, Shall we sing a song uh, here? I, I think, think it'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that, uh, that you being a girl and me being a boy is a nice arrangement. I think Particularly the so. way your hubby plays these things. Doesn't have to have a moon in the sky. My romance doesn't need a blue lagoon standing by. No month of May. No. 
twinkling stars No hideaway No sound My romance Doesn't need a castle Rising in Spain Nor a dance To a constantly surprising refrain Wide awake I could make my most fantastic dreams come true my romance doesn't need a thing but you. My romance doesn't need a castle rising in Spain. To a constantly surprising refrain Wide awake I could make my most fantastic dreams come true My romance does Oh, she sings so sweetly, and away we go. <laughs> you know, Tin Pan Alley has seen to it that there are lots of ladies in, in a lot of songs. Sweet Sue, Laura, Diane, and each of us has his own favorite. But in real life, there's one lady that's everybody's favorite. Isn't that right, Ken Roberts? It certainly is, Frank. That lady, of course, is Mother. And her day of days is almost here. And on Mother's Day... There's no gift that expresses your loving thoughts so beautifully as a beautiful bull of a watch, the gift that will be treasured and trusted always. Yes, for mother who deserves the best, your best choice is bull of a. What more heartwarming gift could you give mother than this exquisite bull of a Academy Award, brilliantly styled with a charming expansion bracelet? and priced at only $57.50. Magnificent in beauty, its matchless 21-jewel Bulova movement assures you that it is equally magnificent in performance. Here is but one of the miraculous operations that go into making this Bulova movement. This incredible machine accurately drills 18 screw holes in a Bulova balance wheel in only 13 seconds. And each hole is exactly 11 one thousandths of an inch in diameter. And this superb precision is yours in any bull of a watch you may choose for Mother's Day, regardless of price. In this adorable bull of a Miss America. Fashionably tiny with an enchanting chain bracelet. An exceptional value at only thirty-five seventy-five. So, remember Mother with the gift she'll never forget. On Mother's Day, May 13th, give her the world's finest, most glamorous, most dependable timepiece. Bulova, gift of a lifetime. Thank you very much. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we're fortunate tonight in having the entire cast from the Paramount Theater on our Bull of a Show. And um, there's Eileen Barton, Joe Bushkin, Tim Herbert and Don Saxon, and last but certainly not least, Dagmar. And you know, 
Yesterday, I invited Dagmar for lunch between shows at one of the very exclusive restaurants in the theater neighborhood over there. Why, it's Eileen Barton and Joey Bushkin. Eileen Barton, Joey Bushkin. Well. And how are you? What would you like to eat? You'd like two hot dogs, I guess, huh? Well, I want two hot dogs with mustard as long as Eileen's Two already. Pekingese with yellow noses. <laughs> all, we got, all we got left is knockwurst. All we got left is not. All we got left is not the. All you got left is knockwurst. All you got left is knockwurst. All, all we got left is knockwurst. All we got left is knockwurst. With the knockwurst. I'll take the knockwurst. That's a piano player's license, let's face it. Ah, uh, change your Pekingese to St. Bernard. Twill do, twill do. Anything to drink? Well, I'd like a black cup of coffee. Black cup of coffee? Mm -hmm. Dirty cup and put some coffee in it. <laughs> you stop with those coffee Anything jokes. to drink for you? I'd like a bottle of beer. Bring me a bottle of Miller's High Life, huh? One high life for the low life. I'll make the, uh, I'll make the head come to a point. I think it'd be a grand idea. I said I'll make the head come to a point. Well, try it once more. Hi, Hi, Hello, how are you? Uh, fine. Say, have you, uh, have you seen Dagmar? Dagmar? In this little joint? You'd know if she was here. <laughs> Craig, what happened to your coat? Well, I ran into a couple of fans down the street. And they tore you <laughs> Oh, those clothes, no. They're Frankie Lane fans. Wow. <laughs> Say, uh, you're going to get something? Wow. wow. Well, Tim Herbert and Don Saxon, oh, what are you doing in this restaurant? Well, uh, what do you want, spare ribs? I mean, what do you want, spare ribs? <laughs> what are you people working in here? Well, we're just helping out while the boss is out to lunch. You mean he doesn't eat his own food? Can't afford to pay the prices. <laughs> She brings her own music, too. <laughs> Mr. Sinatra. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry I'm late. And I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Well, you came to the right place. Take the saddle off Uncle Milty. Take the saddle, Take the saddle off, off Uncle Milty. You want to sit over here with the kids? Well. Oh, Mr. Bushkin. Howdy, darling. I love the way you lead the orchestra and wave your baton. Thank you, darling. Sweetie. Yes? Yeah. It's not baton, it's baton. Oh. Uh, you know Eileen, of course. Oh, yes. How are you, Miss Barton? <laughs> no, Dagmar, it's not Barton, it's Barton. Oh. Well, Mr. Bushkin, I love the way you wave your Barton. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you going to do? Let's have something to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What does it say here? It says, uh, a stickle was a nickel once upon a time. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but uh, now a stickle is no longer a nickel, it costs you a dime. Uh, hey, I guess I can afford that. Yes. Frank, say, uh, yeah. according to my boulevard, I'm late at the theater. I'll see you later. Oh, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, Pat, hey, uh, Tim. Yes, yes, yes. Can we have a couple of stickers with a few pickles? Sure. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll have. I'll have a pastramai sandwich <laughs> on pumpernickel. Pastramai? Yes, on pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? <laughs> say, look, you better you take the sandwich along with you. Joe is right. It's getting a little late. You can uh, eat at the theater, huh? Hey, you, you better all get going. We'll be late for the show. Well, Frank, I think we'll stick around here a little bit. Why? What are you talking about? Well, well... You, you want to miss the show or something? So what? We're getting $10 a day to take care of this store. So you kids go right ahead, okay. huh? You go right over the theater. Goodbye. See you Bye. in a while. Bye. $10 a day, huh, to take That's care right. of this? Sure. Yeah. Pastrami, anyone? <laughs> I love a piano, I love to hear somebody play upon a piano, a grand piano, it really carries me away. I know a fine way to treat a stein way. I love to run my fingers over the keys, the ivories, and with a pedal. I love to meddle when a turkey comes my way. I'm so delighted if I'm invited to hear that long-haired genius play. 
So you can keep your fiddle and your bow Give me a P-I-A-N-O And here's a number It's not a rumba or a Charleston But it's cool It's a portrait of two You know, besides singing and playing the piano, I've been working on a little arrangement for you. For me? Would you care to try it? Oh, golly, with you at the piano, Joe, it's just got to be a great arrangement. Well, you know it's going to be a smash because <laughs> it starts with a piano solo. All right. I don't want an ivy-covered cottage or a penthouse where the stars hang overhead. I just want to be where the citizens agree that instead of getting up, they should have stood in bed. I want to hang my hat on a tree that grows in Brooklyn. I want to dip my feet in the water canal. How I long for old green perch and that certain one-armed jerk where a fella ain't ashamed to take his I want to hang my hat on a tree that grows in Flatbush. I want to be there when that Canarsie sun goes down. Where you hear kids on every block cry, Ah, you mother, what you cut guy? I want to hang my hat on a tree in Brooklyn town. I want to hang my hat on a tree that grows in a Brooklyn. I want to be there when that Bay Ridge sun goes down. Where all the ball teams look like old codgers Each time they play the Brooklyn Dodgers Gonna hang my hat in Brooklyn Where the guys are so good looking Gonna hang my hat on a tree in Brooklyn town It's so romantic Gonna Well, I'm ready to go on the stage. I can't wait till I get it. Now, wait a minute, Tim. Oh, boy, when will we get out on that stage? But, Tim, Tim. I'm really going to do things. I'm going to sing. I'm going to be my love. Oh, Tim, Tim. <laughs> Please, will you calm down? I don't want to calm down. I want to go out on stage. I want to do wait, things. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Tim. You can do it when you get out on stage. Now, just relax. Calm down. Now, look, will you sit here, please? I don't want to relax. Just sort of relax. Now, here's a little short story you can read. Now, turn the radio on if you'd like to. I'll be right back. Sit down, relax, 
Be calm, collect it, and I'll be right back. I don't feel like relaxed. Well, who wants me to relax? What am I going to do? Turn the radio on, and there it is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Candlelight Nocturne Hour, bringing you music to relax by. Are you jangled when your nerves jingle? <laughs> do you feel run down when you cross a busy street? <laughs> Why not sit back, let the cares of the day float away in the dusk, stretch out your arms, be careful of your hand, just relax and listen as we bring you uh, music to relax by. <laughs> To your graduation. Remember the thrill of finally getting your hands on that much wanted diploma? Yes, graduation is an event of a lifetime. You remember always. And for graduation, an event of a lifetime, give Bulaba the gift of a lifetime. Reward him on his graduation with the watch worn by Ed Sullivan of Sunday night's Toast of the Town. The amazing new Bulova self-winding watch. It winds itself automatically. Just set it and forget it. The mere motion of your arm keeps it fully wound. 17 jewels, only 49.50. And what finer, what more endearing graduation gift for her than the watch of Vivian Blaine. This stunning bull of a starlet. It's so charming with an enchanting expansion bracelet. A superb gift, amazingly priced at only $29.75. Or picture his excitement on graduation day when he receives the watch worn by comedy star Alan Young. The handsome, dependable bull of a Maxim. Complete with matching expansion band, this exceptional timepiece is priced at only $29.75. Your friendly bull of a jeweler is now displaying over 300 distinctive 1951 models priced from $27.50 to $5,000. Each, regardless of price, embodies bull of a precision, beauty, and dependability. So, for her, for him, forever, for the warmest thanks you ever received, Give the world's finest timepiece, Bulova, gift of a lifetime. Lovers, 
whoever you are, I hope your troubles are few. All my good wishes go with you tonight. I've been in love like you. Be brave, young lovers, and follow your star. Be brave and faithful and true. Cling very close to each other tonight. I've been in love like you. I know how it feels to have wings on your heels and to fly down a street in a trance. You fly down a street on a chance that you'll meet and you meet. Not really by chance. Don't cry, young lovers. Whatever you do, don't cry because I'm alone. All of my memories are happy tonight. I've had a love of my own. I've had a love of my own like yours. I've had a love of my own. Thank you very much. Frank? Yeah, I, Joe. I know it's a great big kick for you to be back here at the Paramount Theater. You can say that again, Joe. You know, this is actually, the Paramount Theater is actually where I got my first break. I mean, so many things happened after that. You remember that. After I sure left the do. Dorsey Van and I went to the Paramount, and uh, we walked out that first morning, and there was a rather strange noise that occurred in the audience. Wow. I thought it was an air raid warning or something. That happened. I knew it was. <laughs> and uh, come to think of it, as a matter of fact, uh, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Stretch more. She whiz. Well, let's just talk about the smiling Irishman. The sentimental gentleman of swing? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, uh, just, uh, mentioning the Paramount is where I got my first break. I think it's about time to give a station break. So, Mr. Paley, you may take it away. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. Thank you very much. You know, several years ago, a little, well, a small girl sang on uh, uh, one of the radio shows that I was doing, and she amazed the people with her big voice. 
Well, she's a big girl now, and she's still amazed at the people. She recently baked a very popular cake, and now she's in the dough. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Eileen Barton. If I'd known you were coming, I'd have baked a pizza. <laughs> For those of you squares who don't know what a pizza is, it's an Italian long playing record. <laughs> and you use an anchovy as a needle. And if you don't like what's on the record, you eat it. Well, well. pretty good, huh? <laughs> Say, Eileen, how yeah. about, uh, how about uh, me taking you to Coney Island sometime soon, huh? Like we used to do? Oh, wonderful. Gee, yeah. can we go for a ride in the Tunnel of Love? No, we go on a roller coaster. We get some ice cream and... The roller coaster? Sure. Oh, Frank, you don't seem to realize. I've grown up now. Oh. The roller coaster. Something's on my mind, so here I go. My personality has changed. Since you saw me last a year ago, my life has all been rearranged. I'm not the kid that you heckled. When I was freckled and dumb Why not admit that I've grown up Get wise and own up My time has come By gum What do you think I am? Just a baby What do you think I am? Just a child What do you think I go around with men for And who do you think I've got a little yen for Oh, why do you think of me as a sister Oh, couldn't you just for once be a man I'm getting older and starting to smolder And all that I need is a shove What do you think I You were a kid, I held on my knee And you were a kid, just playing with rattles and such Didn't know much, but uh, look at you now You didn't care about birds and bees And you didn't care if you wore gingham or mink Milk was your drink, but uh, look at you now You're a grown-up, I'll own up When you're walking down the street Guys named Cohen yelled Maroon Never saw a package so neat But you got too big to hold on my knee And you got too big for playing with rattles and toys Rather than boys Oh, look at me now And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present, the Paramount Theatre presents the spectacle of the age, Dagmar! Mr. Sinatra? Yes, ma'am. Why did you call me a spectacle? Well, because you're so good for the eyes. <laughs> oh, there you are. Say, you know, Dag, I was looking for you backstage. Where were you? Oh, I was late because I was talking to one of the musicians. You were talking to one of the musicians. Well, then how come your lipstick is smeared? I didn't talk fast enough. <laughs> you know, he was a trombone player, mm -hmm. and he kept sliding his arms around my waist. <laughs> Not but... all of you. <laughs> Lucky thing for you, he wasn't a bass player. You really gotten slapped around. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, uh, Dag, what are you going to do for the folks here at the Paramount, this show? Well, I thought I would sing a song. Good. And uh, recite some poetry that I decomposed. <laughs> well, I, uh, I like good poetry, but let's hear yours. All right. Thirty days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest are 31, except Jack Benny, who's 39. <laughs> Jack Benny, 39? Yes. 
I got a big secret for you. What? I saw his driver's license, and it says, good for covered wagons only. <laughs> well, I still have good poetry, so I think you'd better sing, huh? Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Bye. Well. Mr. Strudel. <laughs> Will you vamp me, please? First, you put your two knees close up tight. You sway them to the left, and you sway them to the right. Step around the floor, kind of nice and light. You twist around and twist around with all your might. <laughs> Please, gentlemen, your union isn't that strong. <laughs> Stretch your loving arm straight out in space. You do that eagle rock with style and grace. Now swing your foot way round, then bring it back. Now that's what I call ball of the jack. <laughs> What I call ball of the jack. That's what I call. I think you're all awfully sweet. Sang very beautifully. Thank you. Bye. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present a couple of boys that I feel are two of the most promising comics. Comics? <laughs> <laughs> two, what happened? Two of the most. Don't come down to my head. Two of the most com uh, uh, promising uh, promics. That's the way you say it. Uh, Tim Herbert and Don Saxon. Here we go, boys. you. Mr. Sinatra introduces us like a gentleman. You walk out like a perfect idiot. Look at your hair. It's all mussed up. Now get off the stage and walk on properly. I didn't do anything wrong. I started to walk out here and he played that crazy music. I heard it. I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Now get off the stage and walk on properly. You're talking me this way because I'm, I'm skinnier than you. Now get off the stage. Yeah, You like to continue? You ready, Rose? All right, take it, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to get a bit nostalgic and go back a few years to a couple of people you might remember. The boys with all the harmony, the real personality kids, the Dapper Dan boys. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. Carolina's fine in the morning, tell him, pal. Nothing could be sweeter than my sweetie when I meet her in the morning. Oh, Jenny, dear. Oh. In the morning, glory. Wah, 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 wah. Gather round my door. What do they gather? Whispering pretty story. Uh, yes. That I long to hear once more. Oh, what do you long to hear? La, ha, ha, ha. Oh, when you go down in Alabama, uh, don't forget Virginia Ham. But if I go fuck her up, forget Virginia Ham. Rosa Red, the Violets are blue. I'm all right. How's by you? If I had a lad slam for only a day. That's only it. I'd make a wish and here's what I'd say. Yo, oh, she say, to be a cat or in the morning, and the sun is shining like a hundred plum. Oh, 
Lord, rip it up. Mars Lace Gown by Stein Wilman. This is CBS, where you play Sing It Again for large cash prizes Saturdays on the Columbia Broadcasting System.